It's about to get wild. It's Miami, Oklahoma, next on Action Tracks. This is it, Miami, Oklahoma. One of the biggest events of all of 2016 right here and we're getting ready to break it loose. It's the first time in Miami, Oklahoma for action tracks. And we're gonna bring you all of the high flying, high speed, high action competition here in Miami. And it's going to be wild. 11 of the top monster trucks in all of the country battling to be king of Miami. For 2016, we've got the reigning multi-time champ here, Jim Kohler and Avenger and there's a host of trucks looking to knock him off. We're getting ready to set off all the action, but before we do that, let me send it down to the track for my cohort, Ross Bonar with Track X. Well, thanks, Chris. You know, some of the best of the best are ready to battle it out here on one of the wildest race courses we saw all year last year on TMB TV. Kind of going old school here. Three jump straight line. These guys are going to line them up. They're going to look for that green light. They're going to power over the first roller. It's a small roller, but it is enough to get you out of shape, and especially the next jump. Again, small roller, but with these drivers putting down all the power, it can get you out of shape. So it's going to very technical track while being fast and as soon as you get past that second jump you're going to put all the power down and go for it off the big jump last year we saw some incredible racing finishes and one of the wildest parts about the track is when they get to the shutdown room boy watch out for that bread van because if you're out of shape it could get wild in a hurry well fans let's get back to chris and he's got two guys that are always a factor to go to victory lane here in miami we've got the multi-time King of Miami, Jim Kohler, Mr. Excitement here, bringing it once again to Miami, Oklahoma. What's it going to take to keep it going? I just got to win again. See, that's the key. You just got to kick ass. Oh, can't swear. You just got to rock it out, you know. The fans here are awesome. This might be Devin Jones' hometown, but the fans here love me too, you know. It's a good friendship going on, a good rivalry. All I got to do is stick to my game and take the world's toughest monster truck that I own, Avenger, and rock this place. Well, you heard it right there. He's got to take out the hometown guy from right here in Miami, Oklahoma, Devin Jones with the Barbarian. You're looking to knock this guy off. You're one of the top competitors here. What are you going to do to do it? You know, we're sitting there just going to play our game. we got a brand new truck, only got one show on it, but I'm not going to let it sit there and not try to win. I mean, it's just going to be a great show. Um, I've sat there once, seven out of the nine freestyles, took that many trophies home. So we keep having problems for the king of Miami, but this is the year. These guys are ready to set it off in Miami. Let's meet the rest of the competitors right now. We've got a stacked lineup starting it off. It's Doug Nolke and Big Dog. Jailburn, Kalen Miguez. Knucklehead, Don Creighton. Nitro Menace, Darren Miguez. Overboard, driven by Jamie Garner. Brutus, driven by Corey Rummel. Snake Bite with Benny Venom. Bigfoot with Larry Swim. Bounty Hunter, driven by Jimmy Crete. Barbarian, Devin Jones, the hometown favorite. And Jim Kohler in Avenger, the champion, defending his title. We're getting into wheelie competition action and Corey Rummel and Brutus kick it all off. Two attempts. What can he do? He gets to set the tone for the weekend. Rumble's been with Team Scream for a little while now, but he just got a brand new chassis. He's looking to put it through its paces. What can he do? He's strategically selecting his second hit Getting ready to line up. What is he going to produce? A nice launch off the van stack. Sets the tone for our wheelie competition. And breaking into a donut at the end. The wheelie competition in Miami, a bit unique, where the drivers have the option to add an additional donut 
the end of their wheelie run to try to add more points, more credit with the judges. Next up, the newcomer, Kalen Miguez in Jailbird. She's new behind the seat, and she's got a challenge ahead of her in Miami with all of the top flight competition here. She doesn't seem to be afraid of the truck, but she's she's got her hands full. She makes her two hits. Not quite as spectacular as Corey Rummel in Brutus, I don't think that'll be enough. Out next, the other lady in the competition this weekend. We've seen her before, it's Don Creighton, this time driving the Knucklehead from Team Two Extreme. Knucklehead truck, a cooperation with Five Finger Death Punch, a popular band with a lot of the monster truck industry. They rock out, and Don Creighton's gonna try to do the same in Miami. The nice leap over the backside of the racing lane. She could be a top contender in wheelies so far. the exclamation point with the donut, but the truck shutting off at the end. We'll have to follow to see if there are any issues with that. Out next, he's been here a number of times. You've seen him in Big Dog. You've seen him in Tailgater. It's Doug Noki in Big Dog, and he's starting off with a donut, a nice donut. Now whip that into a wheelie and stand it up. Not far from home. Whipping it into another donut. He'd like to do well. Everybody wants to win in Miami. But I'm not sure this is going to be good enough. This is not going to be the way he wants to start off the wheelie competition. But he added a bunch of great donuts. But it's a wheelie competition. Out next. It's the team truck to Jailbird. It's Nitro Menace, Darren Miguez. This is a father-daughter team. Darren, we've seen behind the wheel of Bounty Hunter with Team 2 Extreme before. Darren's got his own truck and own team now, and he's looking to rip it up with Nitro Menace. He completes his performance, probably not going to be good enough, but we've got a lot of similar performances in the wheelie competition, so it'll really come down to the judges. We're looking for that one wow moment that really elevates one competitor above the rest, and I don't think we've seen that quite yet. Corey Rummel could be the leader, but it's hard to say at this point. Vinny Venom is on the track, though, and he wants to put the snake in the air and dig his fangs into this competition. Venom rounding around for his second hit. Venom trying something a little bit different, going for the slap wheel. He didn't get the lift that he was looking for off of that center van stack. And so trying for the slap wheelie, the, that band seems to be going away. Taking a quick look back at Vinny Venom and his wheelie competition attempt. But let's send it down to the pits right now. Jamie Gardner with Overboard here for the second time in Miami, Oklahoma. 
Not a great showing the first time out. What are you doing this time? You know, we brought a lot more parts with us this year. Last year we had a really, we didn't do a bad showing. We took Jimmy Creighton out Saturday night in racing and semifinals. Made it to the final round Saturday night against Jim Kohler. Obviously truck was broke, so we couldn't race. But we missed freestyle Saturday night. We're not going to miss it this year. We're, we're here to spoil his weekend. Jamie Garner looking to spoil the party for the multi-time King of Miami. Let's get back to the action. Well, you heard it. He is locked and loaded. He's got lots of parts. He is ready to rock and roll. Jamie Garner with the always phenomenal looking overboard truck. Garner actually has a brand new truck in development right now. You can look forward to seeing that later in the year. With Jamie's paint skill, you know the truck is going to look phenomenal. Garner in the overboard truck has often had a hard time with wheelies. The truck just doesn't really want to stand up for him a lot of the time. He's going to give it his best. He's going to aim for the most vertical obstacle. Not what he was looking for. I think he's going to be a little disappointed with that. But he'll be back in racing here in a little while. And it'll be interesting to see what he can do. The Indianapolis native whipping into a donut to finish off his run. swim in Bigfoot. This is Bigfoot 21. Dan Runte had been campaigning this piece, the newest Bigfoot in the fleet. But with Dan Runte's retirement, Larry Swim steps up to the number one spot with Bigfoot and gets the nicest piece of all. What can he do? If there's one thing you can count on, Larry Swim will put any truck that he's driving through its paces. And kicked a rut just a little bit there, disturbing the donut. A nice way to break up his wheelie performance, wheelie donut. And then now he's heading back for his second wheelie attempt. He really needs to put the exclamation point on it. What can he do? A long leap, but not necessarily a vertical leap. It's really tough in Miami. I'd hate to be one of the judges right now because it's tight. Kevin Jones straight onto the track. He's going to be a number one contender, the number one contender for the King of Miami. This is a brand new barbarian truck and he's attacking it. Though that probably wasn't the wheelie he was looking for. Jones trying something different, attacking the bread van at the end of the track. his shop from a mile down the road from the Miami Fairgrounds. He loves impressing his home crowd and they love him. Jones trying something different. We'll see what the judges think in the end as we near the end of the wheelie competition. Out next, Jimmy Creighton in the Bounty Hunter. This weekend with the Chris Kyle Memorial Bounty Hunter body and announcing his presence with his first wheelie attempt. A great slap wheelie. That may be just what is needed to rise him above the competition to elevate 
him in the mind of the judges. Definitely the best wheelie we've seen so far. Second attempt, not quite as good. He's still got a little bit of a slap wheelie. It could still be tough, but Jimmy Creighton really putting emphasis in the wheelie competition with Bounty Hunter. Taking a look back at that great slap wheelie, walking it across the floor on the wheelie bar. We've got one truck remaining. It's Jim Kohler in Avenger. He knows what it takes to beat King of Miami, and it starts night one in the first competition, the wheelie competition. If anyone can bring it, it's Kohler. This truck takes so much abuse. Over the years, Kohler has built this truck into just a tank, able to take abuse that other trucks would just Rumple under. He started off reasonably strong. Coming back around for his second hit. Taking a different approach. Taking the back side of the van. Everybody else has gone to the other side as the van's gotten beaten down. So that's created a more angle on the other side. Kohler giving it a shot and then whipping into the donut. He could be tough. Judges could have a bit of a tough one here. Waiting for the decision. And the win goes to Jimmy Creighton in the Bounty Hunter. He's setting the tone for the rest of the weekend. You know he's going to be tough in racing as he always is. And he's a former freestyle champion. He can get it done. He could be tough. And he's set the tone already. The wheelie competition is in the books. We're moving into round one of racing. Our first pair is on the line. Jim Kohler and Avenger versus Nitro Menace, Darren Miguez. Avenger, all out of shape, heading down this three obstacle drag racing track, but he takes the victory in our first round one racing matchup. On the line right now, it's an all girl showdown. Knucklehead, Don Creighton, Facing off against Jailbird, Kalen Miguez. Who's gonna win? It all goes down right now. All girls, bragging rights on the line. They're neck and neck. Wow, that was close. I don't know who won. Miguez almost makes contact with the van on the end of the track, but taking a look back, Holy smokes, that was close. It looks like Jailbird may have just gotten Knucklehead at the line. We're waiting for the official decision. We're hearing that Knucklehead takes the win. I think our finish line camera contradicts that, but that is such a tough call to make. I think our judges missed that one. But nonetheless, Don Creighton and Knucklehead moves to round number two. Next on the line, it's Brutus and Big Dog. Big Dog drills him on the light, but Brutus, Corey Rummel, putting the power down and carrying the momentum to the finish. Our next pair brings Devin Jones in Barbarian and Snakebite to the line. This could be a showdown. Devin drills him on the light. Wow. Barbarian just locked the head off of the snake. 
He was asleep on the light, and Barbarian was gone. He never looked back, hammer down all the way down the track. Our next pair, Bigfoot, Larry Swim, and the King of Miami, Jim Kohler and Avenger. Neck and neck off the line. Kohler a little ahead, but he's out of shape. Larry Swim takes the victory. Now it's the husband-wife team showdown. Knucklehead versus Bounty Hunter. Jimmy Creighton versus Don Creighton. And Jimmy takes the win. He'll be sleeping on the couch after that one. Brutus and overboard. Garner versus Rummel. Brutus a little ahead and carries the momentum once again. Rummel keeping the foot down in the, these rounds of racing and getting it done. He could be tough here tonight. He's looking good for that racing victory. You gotta be the edge to take that thing again. You know how to get it done. We definitely know how to get it done. The fans cheer more to me than what it does for us. We're really the rock and roll. I, I love coming here because the people here are so awesome. They're so friendly. I'm not from here. Devin Jones is one of my good friends. I love Guy. He does an awesome job out here for Miami. He does a great job for them. He, he carries his talent loud. And we're here to rock and roll tonight, man. Loves to rock. We're going to compete against each other. And we're both going to rock and roll. How about a race, man? for the Avengers. Victor, the comeback tonight for race number, or round number three, the King of Miami, Kevin Jones. And he just, did you just hear what he said about you? He just said, he pretty much called you a yellow bird, all, all kinds of stuff. I can't repeat part of it. I was hitting mute on my microphone. I gotta say, you probably, if it isn't gonna be the Avengers, or Bigfoot, or, or Bounty Hunter, or, Overboard, or if it's not going to be, there's like four other trucks. If it's not going to be one of those, I think it could be you to win the King of Miami. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah, it's a great team here, so I mean, anything can play by the few points the last couple years. Uh, we've always had a bad luck, but the new trucks seem to be working good. We're going to stay together, we're going to stay together. We're going to give a lot of guys up in the house, but all these guys are going out there, and he just, who knows? He's a great guy, he gives me an advantage. All seriousness aside, I'm not going to pick on you. I always like to pick on Devin. He's one of, he's, like Jim said, he's one of the nicest guys in the motorsports industry. Devin, that truck was smoking fast. That pass you threw down there a second ago had to feel really, really good. Tell us about Bruce. Sachs, two world champions in a right. I promise you, they're going to be gunning for King of Miami. You heard it right there with Kevin Hall down on the track with Devin Jones and Jim Kohler. But right now, the monster truck's taking a moment before the next round of racing to get things all back and in order, make sure the trucks are ready to rock and roll. And we're bringing Devin Jones in Barbarian and Vinny Venom in Snakebite back to the line. Venom, the fast loser. Venom, a lot more competitive this time, gives Devin Jones a run for his money. That was close. That was the race of the night so far. But the win is going to go to Devin Jones in Barbarian. Jones giving it his all as the truck nose is over, all out of shape. A great job by the Miami native to bring that truck back down to all fours. Our next pair is staging up. Larry Swim in Bigfoot. And Jimmy Creighton in Bounty Hunter. These guys can race and these guys know how to get it done. It's on right now. Who's going to take it? Larry Swim with the hammer down 
in Bigfoot 21 soars to the victory and the next round of racing. Next, it's Barbarian and Brutus Rommel versus Jones. Big problems for Jones on the starting line. Rommel doesn't know what's going on. He's racing his own race and he gives it his all and puts down a phenomenal pass to move to the finals. It's finals time. Bigfoot versus Brutus for all the marbles in night one in Miami. Grummel didn't have the same smooth pass as the round before. And Larry Swim gets it done, keeping the pedal to the metal and making it look so smooth. Bigfoot 21, he's looking to be king of Miami. Larry, big racing win. Tell us about it. Well, that's awesome, you know. Track feels good. Everybody's running great, um, you know. Things dialed in, the guys back in the shop did a great job getting it dialed in and uh, you know, it's up to me, so feeling good. Good effort and wheelies, racing win, comes down to freestyle. You can end the night going out in the points lead. Yeah, that's what we're going for, you know. This first time I've been here, I've heard a lot of stories about this. The fans are crazy, uh, the trucks are crazy, and uh, yeah, we want to take the, we want to be the crown. Heard it right there from pit reporter Ross Bonar with racing winner Larry Swim. But right now, a lot of thrashing going on in the pits, trying to get ready for freestyle. All right, Corey, went to the finals. It was a great race with Bigfoot. Tell us about it. Oh, man, it's been an awesome night so far. It's the first time in Miami, Oklahoma, and got to go up against Bigfoot for the last one. And he took me out, but you know what? It was a close run, and I'll take it any day. It's a living legend right there. Freestyle still coming up, what do you think? That's my favorite part of the show, man. I can let it hang out and do whatever I want to do, and that's my part to have fun. That's, you just wait and see what I got in store. Well, Mr. Rummel is ready for freestyle, and so are we. And kicking it off, it's Big Dog, Doug Noki. Great looking truck. We haven't seen the Big Dog persona in a while, as Noki has been running both the tailgater truck and the smashosaurus truck but this is actually where Nolke got his start in monster trucks with the big dog name bringing back that great looking big dog big yellow ford as he looks to set the tone in freestyle The Miami track is a bit tricky just because there is so much going on on the track. Almost anywhere you look, there's something to hit. But you gotta look for the magnitude in freestyle. You wanna hit those big obstacles or make something big happen on any obstacle you hit. Nolke was looking almost a bit lost out there for a moment and now seems to have gotten his rhythm and seems to be attacking the track a little bit more. Hitting the bus stack, getting some big air, whipping it into a donut right on the front stretch in front of the fans. It seems to be coming together. He's picking it up right as you see the red lights flashing at the end of his run. Not a bad performance. He sets the tone in freestyle. Out next, it's Kaylin Miguez in Jailbird. She actually may have gotten the raw end of the deal earlier in racing as it looked like she took out Knucklehead, but the win was given to Knucklehead. She may be a little angry after that and looking to take it out on the truck in freestyle.
Kalen, only 19 years old, one of the youngest drivers in the monster truck industry, and she's new behind the wheel trying to get a feel for Jailbird. And I think it's showing just a little bit right now. She's not quite carrying the mo momentum, but she doesn't seem to be afraid of the track either. A lot of space out on the far end of the track setting up for the bus stack, but she stops and backs up. I think that showed a little bit of inexperience, but making sure she lined up and catastrophe. It looks like she broke the front knuckle on the truck. She's toast for the night. That'll end her freestyle run, landing hard on the front of the truck. That team will have the truck back together for night two in Miami, but that's not going to be the way she was looking to finish her night. Out next, it's the five-finger death crunch knucklehead, Don Creighton. We haven't seen Dawn behind the wheel a lot lately, but she's definitely thrown down some phenomenal freestyle performances in the past. What's she got? She's already started by jumping over the boat. Yes, boat out on the far end of the track. And now she needs to carry that momentum. She's heading out towards the bus. That's a good way to really announce your presence. Well, here we see the veteran, Don Creighton, backing up the truck as well out near the bus stack. Maybe it is a little bit tighter out there than we initially suspected. Again, backing up to set up the bread van. Reverse is never a good thing unless it's part of a maneuver in freestyle. It really zaps the momentum right out of the run and she's backed up twice already. Spinning around the far end of the track and backing up a third time. Another one of the caveats about Miami with all of those obstacles on the track. It makes negotiation between the obstacles a lot more difficult and that may explain why we're seeing more of the drivers using reverse to get set up for an obstacle. You see the brake rotors glowing and I think that's going to be all for Creighton. But she salutes the crowd and she gets love in return. She is a fan favorite anywhere she goes. We heard him earlier. He was talking about how he's ready for freestyle. He loves freestyle. It's his favorite. Bringing out the Brutus. He's going to sink his teeth into freestyle. He had that hammer down racing style. Will that carry over to freestyle? Definitely carrying momentum like we've not seen so far in freestyle. And Rummel hitting almost everything in front of him. He really wants the freestyle win. Nice slap wheelie attempt. It didn't quite set though for him. Not what he's looking for, but he just kept going. Didn't phase him a lick. Whipping the Brutus truck around. He's letting the big dog eat here tonight.
hitting the backside of that racing lane hard. You could see the entire obstacle move. And as he whips it around, and you can see they've actually brought a flatbed, and it's got an old Corvair on it on the backside of the bus. So the drivers have a double obstacle. They've got to clear the tow truck, the flatbed out on the track. That looks to be all. That was a great run. He's got to be top of the heap right now. As out comes Nitro Menace, Darren Miguez. Miguez seems to be trying to carry the same momentum that we just saw out of Brutus. He's got to get some big air and he's got to carry that momentum through the obstacles and really get spectacular. The truck kind of idling around may be a bit of an issue right now. The engine sounding perhaps a bit sick. I Something's not right with Nitro Menace. I think that's all for Nitro Menace tonight. He'll be back strong tomorrow, but not tonight. Out next, it's the first time in Miami for Snakebite, Vinny Venom. At a Rattlesnake Ridge, Vermont. He's got a brand new truck this year, and he's been tough. Can he get it done? He's definitely a competent freestyler. The biggest error to, we've seen tonight over the bus obstacle and comboing huge air off the center of the track. Now heading out perhaps to the bread van. I don't know if he's pumping up the crowd with this or just was not comfortable with his approach, but reversing back probably hurt him in the eyes of the judges. It could almost be sold that he was pumping up the crowd, but you've got to keep the momentum going. He's got to make up for that if he wants to be the freestyle champion. Venom sliding the truck around and again backing up. There may be problems on the snake bite truck. It looked like he was lining up for the bus and then for the wheelie stack. And then he goes around all of it. I think there may be problems with the snake. Indeed, the red lights are flashing anyway. That's the end of his run. He salutes the crowd as we take a look back at that huge air off the far end of the track. It looked very promising. Snake bite with a great assault on the track, but performance tailed off just a little bit and that will probably hurt him for the overall freestyle championship. But right now, Jamie Garner in overboard in that 41 Willys. He looks to announce his presence, starting off hitting the van, the bus stack. That's not a van stack, a bus stack. This truck can take some big air and can take some punishment, and Garner definitely dishes out the punishment on that truck. Oh, a fire show, fireworks from underneath the overboard truck as he hits the brakes in the air to set the truck. He may have, no, you can really see the brake calipers glowing. Wow, simply incredible. It looks like a major issue, but the brakes are just so hot that as soon as he touches them, it's sending the sparks up with the friction from the brake pads. No significant issues, but it's certainly spectacular. That could actually work to his advantage in the judge's eyes.
see the red lights flashing as the pyro goes off. Garner, not a bad run. A pretty solid performance. He could be a contender tonight. I think that fireworks show from underneath the truck actually made it more spectacular. It's past time and he's high siding the truck. He could be getting himself in some big trouble. And this is all for the fans. It's always all for the fans. But Garner putting on bonus time performance solely for the fans. Back out at the boat. Garner just won't stop. He can't quit. He won't quit. As now he slides it to a stop in front of the crowd and salutes this capacity crowd in Miami. He took the racing win. He wants the freestyle win to set the tone for the King of Miami competition. It's Larry Swim in Bigfoot. He's not been here in a long time. He can get it done. He is definitely known as a freestyler. He can race too. And he's got the truck to get it done. If this Bigfoot 21 truck does one thing that works against him, it's almost, it works too well. The truck absorbs so much of the impact that the truck rarely looks out of control. But if anybody can make a truck look out of control, it's Larry Swim. And he's doing that here tonight with huge air. Swim seems to be doing just what he needs to do, and that's attacking everything in his path and making sure that he's lined up for the big obstacles and getting the biggest air of the night off of those obstacles. Swim is on a rail and off the hook. He is looking to be the champion. No ifs, ands, or buts. A little bit of a rebound into a high side brings it back down under control. No problem. Swim using all of his time perfectly with a phenomenal freestyle performance. He's got to be the top competitor right now. Corey Rummel was probably second or Jamie Garner. Those guys were tough but I think Larry Swim just elevated it a little bit more. But we've still got a lot more freestyle and we've got top contenders still to come, including Jimmy Creighton as he starts it off with another slap wheelie. We've not seen a lot of slap wheelies tonight and Jimmy Creighton differentiating himself by performing those slap wheelies. Great slap wheelies at that. And then into Big Air off of the bus stack. Creighton could be tough. He's just got to tie all of the maneuvers together to make it happen. Creighton doing something we haven't really seen out of the other competitors, and I think it could give him a leg up on the competition in its own way. He's attacking the obstacles and using momentum, but he's also 
using momentum and then dragging the truck down real quick before an obstacle to get more vertical launch out of the truck as well. He's really mixing up the dynamics of his freestyle performance in a very technical Jimmy Creighton style. Creighton with a non-stop performance. That was a good one as well. Now it's the defending King of Miami champion. King of Miami points are accumulated over two days of competition, but night one is where you've got to set the tone. Kohler knows what it takes. We heard from him earlier, and Kohler can definitely get it done as he is bringing the momentum to the track almost jumping from the center of the track over the final racing obstacle and then comboing into the bread truck. Kohler comboing like we've not seen tonight. He's going to be tough if the truck holds together. If Kohler doesn't end up on his lid, he's going to be one of our top contenders, no doubt, already. And Kohler bringing some of that Jimmy Creighton style, slowing the truck up and getting verticality out of the truck, showing just a little bit something different. Huge air, the biggest air of the night off of the wheelie jammer on the far end of the track. Kohler, high sighting, he's in trouble. Oh, a huge save. Kohler, simply incredible so far. That save may have been just what he needed to elevate himself above the competition because it's all neck and neck in Miami. The gloves are off and Kohler is throwing it down. You see the red lights flashing in the background. That's the end of his run as Kohler whips into a donut. He's still going. Wow, simply incredible with Kohler and the truck took all that abuse. You can see the left front tire a little soft, losing some air, but he's essentially ready to go for night two in Miami. He may take the championship in freestyle. Wow, what a freestyle competition we've had. Kohler looking back, huge air, almost over it straight into the face of the racing lane, and then huge air. Kohler simply amazing. He's going to be tough to beat. We've got one truck remaining, and it's the guy that wants to be king of Miami more than anyone else, Devin Jones in the all-new Barbarian from just down the road. He's from Miami. His shop is on Main Street in Miami. It means so much to him. He's got so many family and friends in the stands in this capacity crowd. And this guy knows how to get it done. He's got the ability to balance on the edge, which is just what you need in freestyle. Not to mention, the truck can take so much abuse. And it gets better every time there's a new Barbarian, as he illustrates just that with huge air. Getting big air on the big obstacles, but not comboing like perhaps he needs into some of the 
big obstacles in the middle of the track. We're seeing the truck get a little out of shape, and then he hits, whoa! A great slap wheelie into a save. The truck all out of shape on one wheel. Just as I thought the run may not have been spectacular enough, he finishes with a huge maneuver. A great save. Jones, he could be a top competitor. It's anyone's game in freestyle. Huge air. The truck seems to be working very well. No bugs in that brand new Barbarian truck. It all comes down to the judges. Look at that one wheel. The truck never had more than one wheel on the ground as he's trying to bring it back down. And the freestyle win goes to the hometown favorite, Devin Jones. And we've got the rest of the action on the next Action Tracks. That's close to call, but it doesn't matter. The two yeah. people that I'd want to see oh, win are nice. the two that are there. Freestyle so. goes to... Man, that was an awesome oh, show to start the by the fans. They kind of got it. They had Bigfoot here. They had Bounty Hunter here. They had Jim Poehler here. It was a loud crowd cheer off between both of us. We rocked this place last night. We sat there and it's just an awesome time. The truck's taking it every bit. We're ready for tomorrow. We're back in Miami. Night number one is in the books. And because Miami is so huge, night number two, we're setting it off. I've brought in Ross Bonar here. He's got to help us kick this off in Miami. Ross, it was a wild night. Miami night number one. Well, that's the one thing you can count on with Miami is it's always going to be wild. And this year, like so many other years, a great lineup of trucks. Always comes down to the same guys here lately, though. And that's Jim Kohler, Mr. Excitement with Avenger, and the hometown boy, Devin Jones with Barbarian. It did last night again. Barbarian gets the edge. Uh, a bit of a pre pretty close call uh, cheer off there. But Barbarian gets the points for the freestyle win. Bigfoot this year knew it back. He gets the racing win. So we've got a pretty interesting points battle coming in here tonight, too. And this is where the King of Miami will be crowned. Can Jim Kohler do it three times in a row? Yeah, it is a tight battle out there for King of Miami. It is really anyone's game. And the contenders you mentioned, uh, Kohler, Barbarian with Devin Jones, Larry Swim, and Bounty Hunter was in it. That's the interesting twist tonight. Jimmy Creighton in Bounty Hunter, out of action here tonight. A uh, real tough break for the whole two extreme crew, and this is coming off the heels of a very disappointing World Finals appearance for them as well. So, the, you know, bad luck seems to be following them around right now, but you know they'll get that turned around as the summer progresses. But, you know, Creighton out of action tonight, and that just kind of limits the field. But it also opens up a chance for guys like Corey Rummel with Brutus, who was great in racing last night, and also maybe someone like Darren Miguez with Nitro Menace to get into the action here tonight. Well, if there's one thing you can count on in Miami, Night number two is going to be crazy, and it's probably going to step up night number one, so you're not going to want to miss this. Let's head down to the pits right now and talk with some of the drivers. Hey, hey Devin, see this? I see that. See this? I see that. It's been a lot of That's all right. I got two trophies. Hey, I'm going for three. If you sit there and don't get this one and stuff, you can go to Burger King and get one there. I get a paper one there? Get a paper one. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Just remember who's wearing the crown. Two years in a row wearing that bad boy. If you get lucky and win it this time, next year I'll be back to regain it. That's a nice crown I have. Thank you. The King of Miami competitors throwing down the war of words. But right now, it's time for Miami night number two where they throw it down with these big, bad, blown monster trucks, all for title of King of Miami. The competitors are heading out onto the stage for all of the action. The Miami Fairgrounds, we're getting ready. We're glad you've joined us. Let's get into all of the action. Straight from Miami, starting off, it's the Willie competition and kicking it all off. Corey Rummel in Brutus. He looked very solid last night in Miami, and he's looking to elevate his game a little bit more and starts off nicely over that jammer stack and straight into his second wheelie attempt with a combination 
Slap really straight into the donut. This guy is getting it done. Really competition comprised of two attempts at a wheelie and potentially a donut as kind of the sprinkles on the top of the Sunday. Corey Rummel sets the tone and sets it high with a good performance in the wheelie competition. This kid continues to impress. Out next, it's the newcomer, 19-year-old Kalen Niguez in Jailbird. Niguez, new behind the wheel, we saw her last night getting acquainted with the truck. She's not got a lot of time behind the wheel, but gaining experience and confidence every time out. And a nice wheelie proving just that point. Going the donut option, but a good solid run. Out now is Knucklehead with Don Creighton behind the wheel. We've seen her numerous times driving the Scarlet Bandit truck, this time behind the wheel of the Knucklehead. A collaboration with Five Finger Death Punch. Don Creighton looking to set Miami on fire. Her husband, Jimmy Creighton, with the Bounty Hunter out of action tonight. So she's the sole representation for Team 2 Extreme. She wants to get it done. She's trying to start it all off in the wheelie competition. A nice donut to end the run, but the truck popped and died right at the end of the run. Potentially mechanical issues for Knucklehead. We'll wait and find out. But out now, it's Big Doug Noki and the Big Dog kicking it off with a donut. the momentum around the track. I think that's got to help with the judges. But the wheelie attempt's probably not as strong as some of the prior competitors. I don't think this is going to be his night in the wheelie competition. Out next, it's the team truck to Jailbird. The father-daughter team, this is Nitro Menace, Darren Miguez. with a few struggles last night. He's looking for redemption and starting out fairly strong here. Yeah, standing that Nitro Menace truck straight up and down. Good showing moving straight into the donut, though the donut awfully short. I don't know how that will weigh into the judges' decisions here in Miami. We've never seen that as a component of the wheelie competition. So, an interesting opportunity for the competitors. It's the slithering snake, that sneaky snake. Snake by Vinny Venom slithering up the front stretch, getting ready for his donut and wheelie competition attempt. The snake shut out in night number one in Miami, but launching the snake towards the sky in his first wheelie attempt. Setting it strong, setting a good tone. Let's carry the momentum, he's keeping it going.
not as much verticality on that second hit. I thought he might be able to pull a slap really off the rebound, but no dice. A look back, a great first attempt, but I think it's going to take two spectacular attempts in the wheelie competition to get it done. Out now is Jamie Garner in overboard. Jamie Garner, such a wizard with the paint. Every time you see the overboard truck out on the floor, it's always hand painted. This is not a vinyl wrap like you see so many of the intricate paint designs on these monster trucks. Garner paints every truck himself. And he's also known for painting the Avenger truck every time it goes out to the World Finals and presents that unique and highly sought after design. Garner, probably not what he was looking for in the wheelie competition, but the truck looked spectacular. Out next, last night, racing winner. He's a top contender in the King of Miami tournament. Larry Swim in Bigfoot number 21. He'd like to take this victory and elevate himself to the top of the standings and setting it up for just that opportunity with that first attempt. Swim has had some struggles. This truck can be difficult to wheelie. It just works so well. But Swim figuring out what it takes and launching that truck into the stratosphere Adding that crucial donut there, high speed, high action, getting it done. He's pumping up the crowd. A good idea. He's pumping up the crowd, getting everybody involved before setting up the second wheelie. A launch into the air and twisting while he's at it brings the big foot truck back down to the ground. Larry Swim, he's going to be one of the top contenders in this wheelie competition. It'll all come down to the judge's decision. In the end, we don't know the current standings, so it'll be a surprise at the end, and Larry Swim doing a great job to make sure he is top of the heap. Out next, it's the big bad. Hometown favorite, Devin Jones in Barbarian with a great freestyle victory last night and solid performances in the wheelie and racing competition. Devin is a top contender. Oh, and an incredible wheelie. There's a truck cartwheels and Jones brings it back down. This is a brand new Barbarian piece. He does not want to tear that truck up, or does he? Jones in front of his home crowd. You've got to think he's going to throw reckless abandon at this, and he's going to lay it down at all costs. Wow, unbelievable. Jones simply incredible in the wheelie competition. And a wicked donut to cap it off. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen, Devin Jones has got to be top of the heap. Larry Swim laid down a great wheelie, as did Corey Rummel in Brutus. But I don't know if you can compete with Devin Jones in the Barbarian. Take a look back at this. Even brake checking the truck in the air to get the truck to move through the air as he wanted using all of that rotational mass to actually sway where this 10,000 pound monster truck is flying. Simply incredible from the young man from Miami, Oklahoma. 
the multi-time, two-time defending king of Miami, Jim Kohler in Avenger. He's already started it off strong, hitting the first thing in front of the truck, the jammer stack, though perhaps not necessarily what he needed on that first hit. Trying something a little bit different. Going for that slap wheelie. But it didn't quite work out. I don't think this is going to do it. I think the win is going to go to Devin Jones. But it could go to Larry Swim. It could even possibly go to Corey Rummel. We'll wait and see. But Kohler, not the wheelies he was looking for. But proving he'll still get it done with a donut. And still thrill the crowd. I just don't think it's going to be good enough. And well-deserved, catapulting himself into the lead on the King of Miami tournament. It's Devin Jones in Barbarian taking the wheelie competition win with a couple spectacular wheelies. That's got to feel good. Man, the Knights already started off great. We took and took the wheelie win away from everybody. Uh, the points are so close that we got to take every round. If you slip up, you're going to be gone. Years past, we sat there, we always messed up. Truck broke. This brand new 3.0 truck, it's working awesome. We're taking the wins, and we're going for that King of Miami. Everybody wants to see the action in Miami by all means necessary. We're going round number one racing. Larry Swim and Bigfoot versus Darren Miguez and Nitro Menace. Larry Swim thrills Nitro Menace on the light. Both trucks out of shape. But Larry Swim takes the victory. Darren Miguez doing a great job of bringing that truck back down and under control. As you can see, both trucks off to the side, trying to steer clear of that obstacle at the end of the track in the center for freestyle our next pair staging up right now should be a pretty good match Doug Nolke and Big Dog and Jamie Garner in overboard the big yellow Ford eats out the victory and moves into round number two of racing in Miami. Well, they paired up last night. Jailbird getting the raw end of the deal with the judge on the finish line, but she's looking for redemption. It's an all-girl showdown right now. Knucklehead and Jailbird. Knucklehead drills her on the light. Jailbird all out of shape into trouble. Unbelievable. Jailbird upset a huge crash. Kalen Miguez takes the Jailbird truck up and over on the lid. The crew rushing down to check on her. This her first rollover, her first crash. Wow. She'd been taking advice all weekend long, trying to stick with the truck and stay in the throttle as the truck pulled to the left. You see it bite, and she's heading straight for the jammer stack on this tight Miami straight line drag track and it was all over but the crying at that point as that crew has a lot of work to do to put the jailbird back together. I'd say she's done for tonight but in spectacular fashion that this Miami crowd will remember for quite a while. Well, round number one is in the books, and we're moving to round number two. It's the two-time and defending king of Miami, Jim Kohler. He needs this win against the tough Larry Swim. Larry Swim leaves him in the dust with Bigfoot and flies easily to the victory. That really hurts Jim Kohler's cause in defending that king of Miami title but there's still freestyle yet to come, and he could still get it done. On the line now, it's Vinny Venom and Snakebite. 
Doug Nolke and Big Dog. Venom with the advantage over the first two obstacles with huge air flying to the victory. Getting her woe down on the top end of the track and heading back to the pits. He's moving to the round of four. Staging next. This could be one of the races of the night. Brutus versus Barbarian. Two hard chargers. They're gonna hammer down right now. Rommel with a near red light. Perhaps giving the psychological advantage to the Barbarian truck with Devin Jones and Jones takes the victory. Rommel still trying to gather it up on the top end of the track as he slides towards the pits. Barbarian out of shape but taking the win. Rommel fighting the truck himself, charging, trying to get back. Tell me about that ride. It was crazy and I don't want to do it ever again. That's Feeling funny. okay? Yes, I'm doing great. All right. Man, it's feeling great. Uh, I mean, sold out crowd. I mean, I, this is probably the biggest crowd I've ever seen in Miami. They're all cheering real loud. Awesome weather. Trucks are running great. Uh, it's just, it's anybody's ball game. There's, we're going to the semifinals and we can't be happier. Well, I'm going to send him slithering back up the street to his house. Because I'm in the garden and I'm going to catch me a mouse. <laughs> Well, these guys definitely having some fun out there, but we're definitely glad to hear that Kaylin Miguez is okay. She walked away from her accident with Jailbird, but we're going semi-final round racing right now. It's Knucklehead facing off against Bigfoot Larry Swim. The winner goes to the finals in the racing championship. Larry Swim continues to look so smooth in that Bigfoot truck. He cruises handily to the finals, looking to double up his racing victories in Miami. But right now, this is going to be huge. Snakebite versus Barbarian. You heard him talking trash a little bit earlier. Who's going to get it done? Put your money where your mouth is right now. Hammer down. These guys are giving it all. Devin Jones emphasizing his quest for King of Miami, taking the victory and cruising to the final round. This, this I promise will be the race of the night. We've had some great races so far tonight, but it's the defending racing winner, Larry Swim Bigfoot versus the hometown hero, Devin Jones. It's all out right now. Ronald down, oh my, whoa! Incredible! Larry Swim colliding with an obstacle at the end of the racing track. Unbelievable! What a final round! But is Larry Swim okay after that colossal crash on the top end of the track? That was a hard impact. The Snakebite team, the first on the scene to help the Bigfoot crew. He appears to be okay sitting behind the wheel upside down. Dude, that was wild. They said they're both wanted that win so bad. Boys are so tight here in Miami. And Seth, we sat there and we got beat, but man, he said they took a wild ride. Wow. Hopefully that truck is okay. This big foot is upside down. My goodness, what a wreck. See Larry Swim climbing out of Bigfoot. He appears to be okay as he waves to the crowd, but that was spectacular. That's got to elevate Larry Swim to the top of the charts in the King of Miami Championship, but he may not be back for freestyle. They're okay. The win goes to Larry Swim. You heard it right there. Larry Swim taking the victory. You heard it from Devin Jones. Larry Swim taking the victory by a mere feat.
but at what cost? Bigfoot is a mess. You can hear a bit of dejection in his voice as Larry Swim knows his bid for King of Miami is over. He's still top of the charts, but it would take something special not competing in freestyle to, to hang on to that victory. But right now, tough trucks are such a huge part of the Miami Championship. Right now, we've got the semi-final and final round for you. That wild four-wheel drive Mustang against the always incredible John Jungblut in the Wild Thing as Wild Thing moves to the final round in the Tough Truck competition. Jungblut strong wherever he is and known for his trademark victory celebration. But right now, it's rough stuff. Charlie Wells against Pat Pulley in trouble. Tough Drops running a Chicago-style track guys a little out of shape but rough stuff moves into the next round Wayne Sully in afterburner faces off against Wade Sullivan and Thunderstruck we've seen these trucks before and they're top-notch tough truck competitors they hammer down they know what it takes and everybody wants to win in Miami Sullivan actually last year took the Miami championship with the Thunderstruck truck. But not going in his favor, the win goes to Afterburner. Steve Darnell in Nitro, the godfather of tough truck racing against Pat Winchester in Mental Case. Winchester is all the way from New York City. Yes, New York City facing off in this Miami Tough Truck Championship. As he moves to the next round. In our next round, John Jungblut facing off with Charlie Wells. Wild Thing versus Rough Stuff. This is semi-final action. Now the winner goes to the finals. They're neck and neck, charging down the final straightaway. Jungblut moves to the finals in the wild thing. That truck works really well. He'd like to take the victory. We've seen him endo off of a bus stack before here in Miami. Yes, a bus stack. Maybe another wild celebration if he takes the finals, but right now, it's Afterburner taking on Mental Case for the other spot in the finals. Who was going to get it? The man from New York moving into the finals with Mental Case, Mental Case, and Wild Thing in the finals. Two characters go to battle. They're both going to charge hard. This is a capacity crowd in Miami. Everybody wants to win. But Jungblut behind right now. New York City, Mental Case, 
in the lead, charging. Wow. A spectacular racing finals as Mental Case, all the way from New York City, takes the victory. The Yankee with the Tough Truck Championship. Pat Winchester takes it all, takes all the marbles as Jungblut celebrates with his trademark nonetheless. He's amped. These guys are a spectacular show. Right now we're moving into freestyle and Doug Nolke and Big Dog is kicking it off. their game. Miami night number two for this freestyle victory with the crowd at capacity and full of electricity. These guys are going to turn it loose as they vie for that King of Miami title. Bringing together a nice run in the big dog truck. Definitely a strong way to set the tone for the night as he sets up for the van stack. Great variety in his freestyle performance. Big air, wheelies, donuts, a little bit of everything. A good performance. A good way to start it off as the crowd shows Doug Nolke a little bit of love. Next up, it's Knucklehead, Don Creighton. Looking to leave her mark on Miami this weekend in the five finger death punch knucklehead truck. She attacks the boat out on the far end of the track. Miami, very interesting because there are so many obstacles. You've got to string together the right combination. Don Creighton doing pretty well so far, but not exactly spectacular so far. She really needs that wow moment to set her performance into the memory of the crowd. Over the van stack that took Larry Swim out of the competition, she makes it look a little bit easier, a little less impact than poor Larry Swim. over the jammer stack. Creek definitely using a variety of obstacles. So a good solid run. I just have a feeling it's probably going to take more than this to take the freestyle title. First attack on the car Van Van car stack set out there for freestyle night number two. Let's hear races, the 
as her freestyle run comes to an end, she climbs out and salutes the crowd. Well, here comes Corey Rummel and Brutus. He looked solid in racing. He's got a very hammer down driving style and a brand new truck as he shows that off with a spectacular slap wheelie to start off his freestyle and then into a donut. Oh, great combo move, just what it'll take. He's got all of the potential, he's just gotta string the performance together. Is tonight going to be the night that Corey Rummel in Brutus takes the biggest victory of his young career. The truck all out of shape on the top end of the track, sliding to a stop, keeping it in control. You don't want to hit anything outside of the track, but it definitely hurts your momentum. But the great side is that Rummel is carrying huge momentum, using every opportunity as he carries another slap wheelie in a precarious situation down the track where there are obstacles on both sides, a little bit here or there, and he could end up in the same situation that we saw Jailbird in in racing, upside down and on his head. Rummel carrying a fantastic run with fantastic momentum as he works his way out to the van stack, the big air opportunity. You've gotta hit it hard and hit it strong and carry some big air as he carries that over a couple of the racing moguls into a donut, a good combination where momentum can lull as you're going over those small moguls through the center of the track. Brutus attacking the bread van and huge air over the boat jump. Rummel, an incredible run. As you see the lights flashing red in the background, that's all. Rummel, he's gotta be amped. That was a spectacular performance from the young man out of Michigan trying to sink his teeth into the competition in the big Brutus truck. He is going to be top notch. Gotta be one of the freestyle performances of his career. Here comes Darren Miguez in the Nitro Menace. Waving to the crowd, getting them pumped up, trying to build a little bit of electricity before his performance. We saw his daughter take a horrendous crash earlier in the night. You've got to wonder if that's weighing on the back of his mind just a little bit. But he's a professional. He's going to try to get it done as he launches Nitro Menace. We see the bodywork starting to come apart on the Nitro Menace truck, leaving bits and pieces on the track that will elevate the spectacular nature of his performance. As he is already stringing together a solid performance with solid momentum. He'd sure like to take the freestyle victory tonight. Sparks shooting from the rear end housing of the truck. 
That's perfectly normal. The brakes start to get a little hot trying to stop these 10,000 pound trucks and they'll shoot a little bit of sparks when the brake pads contact the brake rotor as they get a little hot glowing bright red out there. It's certainly adding to the spectacular nature of the performance under the lights at the Miami Fairgrounds. solid run here mixing it up as well perhaps not quite as spectacular as Brutus but a really solid run for Miguez it's always tough to be a freestyle judge at any event and tonight I don't envy those judges blasting out on the track it's Vinny Venom in snake bite I don't think he's quite had the performance he's been looking for in Miami this weekend. And so he'd like to end on the top in freestyle to round out the weekend. Can he get it done? It's going to take something special, especially after the performance that Corey Rummel with Brutus laid down. Venom trying for some slap wheelies, I believe, but not getting the rebound. I think he needs to elevate the momentum just a little bit. Build up some of the combo moves and really make it happen. Venom finding an obstacle that nobody had hit yet. While everybody had attacked the other side of that obstacle, the side he approached from was still fresh meat and a great vertical flying wheelie. The truck actually vertical while still moving forward. I think that loosened up some of the body work on the snake as he's starting to shed his skin on the track in Miami. It's time to elevate his game and really put the exclamation point on his freestyle performance. He was working to get a launch off of some of those center stacks and perhaps get that rebound slap wheelie and it's just not quite working out for the snake. This is a new chassis for the snake this year and it handles so much differently than the prior chassis. I think it takes some getting used to. It certainly doesn't rebound as well because the truck absorbs so much energy so well. with some big air at the end of the run and coming to rest on the racing stack, saluting the crowd. A good run for Venom. He's looking to sink his teeth into the competition. I don't know if it'll be good enough, but it was definitely a strong performance. We'll have to wait till the end of the night to see. But right there, probably the move of the run. And out now, Jamie Garner in overboard. He's looking to leave his mark on Miami. Perhaps not the weekend he's been looking for so far. 
he really needs to wow this crowd. He's looking to get it done. He's revving him up as he revs up overboard. You can see they've brought the flatbed truck out on the track and there is a Corvair sitting on that tow truck on the backside of the bus stack that Garner has to clear as he launches into his freestyle performance. Garner in the towing industry in the Indianapolis area decided to get into monster trucks in front of this capacity Miami crowd. My guess is that Garner will be fully willing to tow that truck home if he has to, if that's what it takes to take the freestyle victory. bit of the disadvantage that Garner is encountering all of the obstacles have all been hit and numerous times by the prior competitors so they're not only beat down but the fans have all seen it before so it really takes something special to elevate a performance above what the prior competitors have provided Garner really looking for something different something to wow the crowd that wow moment that really gets it done a strong performance really almost making it look a little too easy out there not really on that ragged edge that i think it's going to take to take the freestyle victory all for Garner as he slides overboard to a stop. Here comes the man that would sure like to defend his King of Miami title and make it a three-peat. But it's going to be tough. It's a tall order at this point. I think he'd have to have a spectacular freestyle winning performance and Devin Jones will have to fail early in the freestyle performance but Jim Kohler in Avenger is looking to make it happen. This man knows Ragged Edge. This man knows what it's going to take to take the victory. And he'll combo and put that truck on edge, if not over the top. Kohler's truck takes so much abuse. Incredible air as the pyrotechnics go off in the background. Look at Avenger spin. It's easy to get dizzy. I don't know how Kohler can donut like that and go straight back into that freestyle. An incredible freestyle. Kohler laying it down. You heard him talking smack with Devin Jones earlier. Right now, I think he's speaking with his right foot. Carrying slap wheelie after slap wheelie, combo move, combo move, 
big air. Holy smokes, it's incredible. Brake checking the truck in the air to set position for the landing. Incredible driving. Kohler. Not always much of a racer, but he can definitely freestyle. And he knows what he's doing behind the wheel. He's not just pointing and shooting. He gets it done. He has wow this Miami crowd. Kohler on fire in Miami. And then there was one. Hometown favorite, Devin Jones in Barbarian. He just saw a phenomenal performance from Avenger. He's got to top that, and he wants to take that King of Miami championship and keep it in Miami for the first time since its inception. Jones isn't going to walk into this title. He is going full throttle, full blast, and wants to wow his hometown crowd in taking that championship. He can't crash or break the truck early. The title will probably go to Kohler as he high sides the truck right there, bringing it back down. Incredible control, but tiptoeing on that edge, knowing just what it takes. Some of the biggest we've seen all night. On landing, he tweaked the sway bar. You see the truck leaning a little bit to the right. But that won't even phase a champion like Devin as he continues his assault, hitting everything in his path. This new Barbarian 3.0 working to perfection. Often, you'll find bugs in a brand new truck, but Jones having almost no issues all weekend long. He had a driveline issue. Night number one, the team thrashed, got it back together. And no issues ever since. And he's run that truck hard, almost into the ground as he continues this huge air assault. High side and over. Devin Jones has crashed the brand new Barbarian truck, but he's filled the time in freestyle, and now it goes to the judges to determine the freestyle champion, and thus the King of Miami for 2016. No pressure on those judges. It's going to be tough. Jones climbs out and salutes the crowd as we're getting word coming down from the judges that Devin Jones is the freestyle champion and the king of Miami for 2016 as we take a look back at the run. Devin Jones threw it down in front of his hometown crowd with a big air assault on the ragged edge in that brand new Barbarian truck. 
Jones, the biggest air of the night, almost landing in the racing lane, kicks the truck sideways up and over. Jones assessing the damage, but that's nothing at this point. He is the king of Miami. Congratulations to Devin Jones on a hard earned title. Let's hear for Devin Jones and the Barbarian. It feels great to be the king of Miami. The last three years the center have been trying this, and it's just an awesome honor. This crowd and center is awesome. We just had a good time. We're just ready for next year. Bring it on. Somebody will send you the bill. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Your new king of Miami, Devin Jones, waiting for it, wanted it year after year. Number three, he gets it. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Matt Motorsports, on behalf of O'Reilly Auto Parts, on behalf of Vance Auto Group, on behalf of Vestas Towing, on behalf of Baby Cat. Well, that's a wrap from Miami, Oklahoma, and it was simply insane. We crowned a brand new king of Miami, dethroning the reigning multi-time king of Miami, Jim Kohler and Avenger. Who did it? None other than the hometown favorite, Devin Jones in Barbarian. He brought out a brand new Barbarian number three, and rocked the house. Miami stood firmly behind him 110%. He gave it his all and brought home the championship. He's the king of Miami for 2016. That's all for Action Tracks. We'll see you next time.